Hi there, my name is Laura Elizabeth C. And if you want to be able to communicate more effectively to senior management and your senior leaders, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to give you three strategies on how to effectively communicate with the senior management team. We've all been there, right? You walk into the meeting room and the senior managers are sat at the table. A couple of them are on their laptops. Someone's on the phone. Two of them are having a conversation and you've got to go and give that presentation or go into that meeting and discuss the project that you're working on. So how do you do it the most effectively you can? Well, there are three things I would suggest that you think about. The first thing you need when you go into those meetings is you need to be, be confident. You need to be able to talk confidently and project, project confidently like you know what you're talking about, right? So how, are, how can you be more confident in those situations? The first thing is body language, body language. Put your shoulders back, your head up, and make sure you're breathing deeply. Because if you're breathing more deeply, that's gonna change the way that you communicate. And you can do things like, imagine there's a piece of string at, at the top of your head, which makes you stand up straight, put your shoulders back, and go in with an intent to be confident and bring value to the meeting. So that's the first thing, is you need to be confident, especially in what you're saying and what you're presenting. Second thing to think about is about meeting them where they are rather than where you're coming in as. So if you know any person at a senior level and you looked at their diaries, you would see their diaries is absolutely chock-a-block full of meetings. And this may be the first meeting that you're having today and you're thinking about your project or what you've got to say. But actually for them, they've got hundreds of different work streams with people reporting into them. That day is probably going to be like the, the ninth meeting of the day, all on different stuff. So when you go into those meetings, don't go in with your agenda, meet them where they are and start the interaction with what you want the outcome to be. Or what is the action of the meeting that you need to, you need to have? Because when you're, thinking about, you know, when you're thinking about your project, they, they're not. So you need to go in and say to them, this is the outcome we need today, or this is the decision we need to make. And you need to be as, as succinct and as flexible as you can in that interaction. Because when they want more information, they'll ask for it. But you, you, you know, start the conversation with what everyone wants to get out of the meeting. And also go into that meeting with a view of giving value. They've hired you to do a job. They've hired you to do a job. And rather than focusing on what you're not doing or how you're feeling or whether you're not feeling confident, focus on the value that you're going to bring into that meeting. They want you to deliver something or they want you to do something. So go in with what that is and focus on that. Focus on the value that you're bringing in to the meeting. The third, third thing I would say is about being flexible. Be flexible in how you talk, what you articulate. You know, if you have a presentation and you've got like 50 slides and someone asks a question, answer the question and jump around your presentation so that you're flexing your content and you're flexing what you're saying to meet where they are and where, where they're thinking. Because they would have seen lots of different projects and presentations and people, and they kind of get into knowing the exact information they want to know. And it's not that they're not interested. It's just that time is super, super valuable. So be flexible in how you get, run through that meeting and be willing to jump around, answer questions, meet them where they are, and give them the information they need so that they can make that decision for you. 
because ultimately you both want the same thing. You both want to come to a conclusion. You both want some actions and you both want some decisions out of the meeting so as not to waste everyone's time. Be confident, meet them where they are and take value. Go in with an attitude that you're going to bring value to that interaction. And three, be flexible. 